Before we begin, I just wanted to thank Evernote for sending over these stickers to me last week. Um, it was really kind of you guys, and I'll definitely be including them in a video in the near future. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. My name is Francesco, and what I do in these videos is break down productivity tips, tools, and techniques to help you move forward with your productivity. This session, what I wanted to do is focus specifically on an application I actually discovered maybe a few weeks ago now and have had the time of an evening to really sit down with it. And it's a very popular concept at the moment. So the application is called Strides and the trend itself is called habit tracking. The concept of habit tracking is something that has been being talked about for quite a while now um, and especially in the last few months a lot of applications have popped up on the app store that are specifically about habit tracking and essentially habit tracking just allows you to take all of your natural habits all of the stuff you do across your day and essentially map them um, and allow you to kind of plot them as well so that you, you know, you're aware that you've actually completed them. It's not like a task per se, it's more like a routine and something that a lot of, I'm, I'm paying attention to, especially on the App Store and something that you should definitely check out. Um, so let's get stuck into what Strides has to offer. What I've done is I've set up a few routines or habits that I would like to kind of coordinate across my week. So as you can see at the top, um, I've started with meditate. Uh, that is actually one of the preset options. So when you actually go to create a task, you press the plus corner in the top right hand. Once you're in this menu, you get set out with some templates, um, a quite valuable set of templates too, because once you click into one, let's say I wanted to click in meditate, it actually tries to kind of understand all of the habits that people naturally do. So for example, it's named it meditation. It, the goal is one time per day, which a lot of people do anyway. So that's quite good. And it's already coordinated it to hit and remind me around seven o'clock. You can also set it consecutively, and one of the premium features, which I'll go into in a minute, is the ability to add tags. So once you've done that and you pressed enter, one that I set up before was this one here. And essentially, you've got this kind of tracking uh, ability. It's more like a dashboard, as you can see it um, here. And all you do when you want to monitor a success of one is you swipe across, and it logs it as one out of those three that I want to do this week. And same um, as you continue with all of the other ones. So I've had an example of weight one here. So this is something that by the 4th of April, I want to achieve a 78 kilogram weight. And it basically kind of plots it really accurately uh, and in kind of really nice, very statistical fashion. It gives you the daily goals. Um, so exactly how many you need to uh, go to um, in terms of actually being able to lose that much weight per day uh, and actually gives you the projection too which is quite nice. So this map allows you to see your progress so that's that how far you're going from so I started from an 82.5 and now on to the 82 um, and as you can see it gives you a plot as well which is quite valuable. You can set up multiple different ones. There's actually no limitation, which is great. Uh, and it's, I'm finding this at the moment really valuable in terms of stopping, you know, using my task manager at the end of the day and going, okay, what routines was I actually monitoring? Removing any routines I had in my Todoist account, and you know, you guys could remove that from any accounts that you've got, and putting them into here as I, as I continue to build this. One thing I'm really impressed about this application is its ease of use in terms of being able to add them as well as being reminded. So what you can do here is you can actually remind yourself um, quite easily, uh, which is quite valuable because over time, you know, being able to try to remind yourself of all of these ones is going to be a bit of a pain. So you've got a dashboard, you've got a multitude of other options, mainly they're all setting options. But as you go into settings, you can actually make some changes there. As I said, once, in your, once you're in the dashboard, you can actually create your own goals or habits. And what's brilliant is you can actually go very specific. So uh, film, let's say I've said film 100 videos as one of my goals, um, and I've entered that. And you can actually be very specific. So I want to, my goal is, my goal average is 
which is quite detailed, right? Um, starting today, uh, you can actually break it down into the very segmentation that you want. Some of the templates actually do skip this whole option and I actually do recommend checking these out because I was able to add maybe five or six with quite good speed without having to go through all of that process. Maybe if you wanted to set very holistical goals, that would be the option you would take. So anyway guys, I was actually really, really impressed by this application. It is actually just kind of went over and beyond for me because I was checking out their store and was able to see that they had a web application and I'm a huge Chromebook user, so that really came in handy. The web application is very, very similar to the iOS application um, and I will check also whether they have an Android application. Anyway guys, that's literally a quick check at the new Strides application. For anyone looking at uh, habit tracking, this is a really good free uh, and easy to access option that I really recommend you check out. Anyway guys, thank you very much. Make sure to share this video with a friend that wants to check out a goal tracking one and how to get started. I would really appreciate that. So thank you very much. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.